Hello, welcome to Teacher Technology Tutorials. I'm Jason Salaskar, and I'm going to continue on with our Weebly series. Our Weebly series deals with designing our website from scratch. This tutorial we're going to deal with theme options and design. We're going to look into changing our header picture so that it fits to what we want in our design for our class website or our personal website. So again, we're going to go over theme options and our uh, header picture and we're just going to start designing our website from the top down. So once inside Weebly in our control panel we've uh, in the previous tutorial we made our domain and we've also created a title for our website. Now that's what we're going to get into designing. So we have some themes here in our design tab here we have some uh, themes that we can have. We have design options and we have themes and so what we can do now is uh, I can customize my theme or I can look at some of the uh, built-in themes that are already there that are already designed by uh, website designers um, so I'm gonna look in the education category and I'm looking over some of these uh, possible themes and as I scroll over them I notice that there's a preview button that pops up so this allows me to preview my site in that theme I'm not committing to anything quite yet but it just allows me to preview my theme, or my, I'm sorry, my website with this theme. So I can see if I like this one. I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to hit cancel. Uh, I'm going to look at this one. I kind of like this one. It's kind of simple. It has a little uh, picture for the uh, front of the uh, website. It has the title of the website on the side here. So I think I'm going to go with this one. So I'm going to use theme. So here we are. Here's my um, website but I have this picture in here and this picture probably doesn't apply to my website actually I know it doesn't apply to my, web, my, my website or my class so what I can do is I can edit the image so I click on edit image and so now I can delete it remove image so now it creates this blank space so I need to replace that blank space with another picture I have several options I can add image here if I have a picture from my that's on my computer I can go ahead and upload that picture so maybe I've taken a picture that is specific to my classroom or my school or whatever personal uh, purpose of my website is I can go ahead and upload that or I can search for images I might have some favorite images uh, that I have uh, saved that I've uh, kind of said oh I want to save that for my website I'll save it in my favorites so someday maybe I'll use it that will have a purpose for my website. Or image URL, maybe you have some images that you're uh, hosting online. You can uh, go ahead and uh, type in your URL to that image and then uh, bring it into your website. For the sake of this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to search images. So I'm just going to do a generic search here for school. And so what we have here is we have some images. These are professional uh, photos and so if you kind of look over them um, you can add them to your favorites and then uh, or you can buy them for five dollars so these are professional ones I like searching through the free photos so as we search through these free photos um, these are creative common licenses so we've uh, been given permission to use these what's nice about Weebly is that once we use these images they give credit to the person that took them at the bottom of our website so it's just nice to give credit where credit is due. So as I'm scrolling through these images, I'm not quite seeing what I, uh, what I want. Uh, I can just keep looking, keep looking, see if there's something I want. Um, uh, let's just say, let's just pick this one. Uh, probably doesn't fit for this purpose, but uh, um, it looks school related, I guess. So I'm going to hover over it and I hit select and then it brings it into my website so now I can adjust it with the dots here so um, that's too much maybe I want to expand it more drag it and just kind of position it to where I want it in my space there and let's just say I want it there so now I hit OK and so now I have my image there you probably don't want this image in your website but for the sake of time and the purpose of the tutorial 
there it is. So, so now we've uh, done that. Now we can add text. If I want to put text over my uh, logo here, I can do that. I can move it around. I double click it in there. Double click in my text box and um, type in my words or my text. Going wild with Weebly. And so I can change the font. I can change the size. I can give it a shadow. I got some options here to design my website. So maybe I just want Arial. And I want to bring that size down a little bit. Okay, so now I can move it around, maybe center it. There we go. I can bold it, italicize it. Uh, again, I can give it a color. I want it to stand out a little bit more, so maybe I'll give it a little red there. Uh, I give it a shadow, and I can give it as much shadow or as least shadow as I want. And then I can create the angle of where I want that shadow to go. So then when I'm done, I hit OK. I can create a glow. Or not. And our opacity. So maybe um, I just want it faint there or full blown right there. So, so once I've uh, established that, I can go ahead and hit save. But what's uh, what you have to be careful here is that if you have other pages here, if you click this arrow right here, you can what you can do, and I've done this before, is where if I just want to save this on on this front page, but if I have multiple pages already, uh, we don't have pages built yet. But if I do have pages, I can change it for all the pages, or I can just change it for this one page. So if you specifically only want this for this page, I recommend only this page, or on selected pages. So maybe you design this and you and you you want it on three of the five pages of your website, you can do that, or you can do all 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 pages so that you would be able to do uh, all pages and then your pages will look the same throughout your website. So we're just going to do only this page. So there is now it's saved. So we have some options here as far as themes go. Uh, we have uh, our theme categories. We can have our custom themes. We have our favorites, and we've changed our um, we've changed our picture. We've added a picture into our website. We've added some text. So um, also with our text here, the title of our website, we can turn that off. We can bring the text back or we can bring in a logo. Maybe we've created our own logo for our classroom. We can bring that in also if we, if we want to. So uh, this has been a tutorial on our theme options and our design at the top of our website. We've learned how to bring in a photo. Uh, we've learned how to bring in text. And so we're on our way to designing our website. So this is Jason Salaskar with another teacher technology tutorial.